right, for next talk, we have Martin Stransky. Martin works at Red Hat on Mozilla packages, such as Firefox, SeaMonkey, Thunderbird, in Fedora. <laughs> he is involved in several projects like Firefox Wayland port, Firefox title bar rendering effort in Firefox Nightly distributed as Flatpak. Uh, today, he is going to talk about Firefox Wayland postmortem. Welcome, Martin. Hello. Is it working? Yeah. So, hello, guys. Uh, before we start, uh, can you raise your hand who use Wayland on desktop? Wow, wow, pretty much people. Okay, and so please raise your hand who use uh, Wayland with browser, so actually native backend. Wow, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so pretty much people. Okay, let's start. So, uh, well, uh, actually, why we should use Wayland because I think it's more 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 useful for actually for developers because you know it has it's much simpler than X and actually I think it has the same rendering speed as X. I don't think there's any big different and well it's easy to implement on you know the compositor side on the server because it's really really small small utility which you need to just take the picture on the screen. So this is really, I think, really the benefit is on the server side. And uh, it has some security benefits like, you know, window isolation, application isolation, and uh, so on. And uh, actually, it has some issues for users, which are not finished yet. And uh, I think the most interesting one is that uh, there is no valent implementation. Actually, can you ask your hand who is GNOME and KDA and anything else like Sway? Ah, okay, because you know <laughs> there are different bugs bugs on <laughs> every compositor like Matter KDA, and uh, uh, you if you have any application you need need to just count with it and address that. So it's it's <laughs> interesting to fix that, and uh, it has still some missing features than X has. Like uh, you cannot place your window on top; uh, it depends on compositor, and uh, it has different pop-up handling. And uh, it's quite difficult to test application on Wayland because you don't have direct access to to the screen. So. Uh, right now, you maybe need to use different different portal, and uh, maybe extend that. Actually, there is no. I I don't think there's anything anything uh, good testing framework or anything testing on Wayland yet. And uh, let's talk about Firefox. Uh, actually, this this Firefox port on Wayland is uh, paid by Red Hat. I work on on it uh, for almost 10 years and uh, it was it was stable and shipped to users in uh, uh, 8 months ago 8 months ago and 20% uh, of firefox users on linux use uh, wayland it was xwayland before and uh, i think only fedora edge and ubuntu use wayland uh, with Firefox and uh, for stable enterprise line and Thunderbird, it will be used in the next next uh, iteration, so tw 28. Uh, and in Firefox, we primary fix uh, 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 matter bugs and uh, aim to work good in matter. Then in KDA, and uh, uh, unfortunately, we really, we really don't have time to to work on Sway, Western, and uh, any other compositors because um, they have their own bugs and uh, uh, we, we just can't, can't fix that. And, uh, well, Firefox Wayland state, I think it's quite stable and we're just fixing user reports, stability issues, and so. Uh, main issues on, on the Wayland right now on Firefox site is missing testing. We just don't have automatic testing. We just getting user reports. Fortunately, 
there are lots of users on nightly so we have good good reports from users and uh, uh, I think mine my, my missing feature is the picture in picture so you if you use uh, picture in picture on violent you need to put it on on top by hand because you know it's it's not on top so you need you need to use just the menu because competitor doesn't allow you to doesn't allow application to put its window uh, on top because just for security reasons there is just just proposals how to solve it uh, gnome folks wants to use some some uh, just under like like on android just some some minimal window with controls mozilla wants to have full control of the window so there is just tension about it and it's not solved yet and uh, another another complication is you cannot place or move top level window on the screen so if you do session restore or or just want to place pop up window uh, you don't know where the top level window is located on the screen because it, if you just read the screen coordinates of the window you just uh, get anything just random numbers so you cannot work with that you only know the window location if it's maximized and uh, yes and Wayland has different focus handling so application itself cannot make cannot take focus you can only transfer focus if you have focus you can transfer it but you cannot take it ju just from any different application it's again from security reasons and uh, yeah uh, what we need to solve on Firefox side is uh, mm, just different clipboard because Gecko use uh, synchronized clipboard and Wayland async. Uh, different uh, interesting bug is uh, in Matter. They don't implement it um, subsurfaces for drag and drop. So I will talk about it uh, in next slide. And also there is a complication about violent uh, event buffer even buffer if you have some input device with, with which uh, generates lots of events like like fast mo mouse or so it could uh, overflow the compositor buffer and it will termina terminate your application we use valent proxy for that which is some kind of cache of the events and uh, also if your application doesn't uh, respond fast to compositor events it could it could terminate your application just like mm, like uh, like uh, frozen or so it may be issue I with gtk3 but you know yeah uh, how we paint to gtk firefox uses gtk but we cannot paint directly to gtk widget because gtk doesn't allow it so we created subsurface and place it over the uh, gtk window but matter doesn't uh, <laughs> doesn't paint subsurfaces for drag and drop so if we, if we do drag and drop like this so we need to paint directly to the widget and that's pretty pretty tricky we need to hack it a bit on the gtk side stop timers uh, and it's oh, works but <laughs> it's it's quite <laughs> it's quite tricky yeah uh, another thing is that uh, valent works by 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 differently with uh, windows window because valent pay the payland the surface and if valent window is hidden there is no surface they just delete it so you cannot bind to the Wayland window before it's shown and after it. And that's complicated for 
multi-thread rendering. So uh, on the Firefox side, we need to, um, if, if there is any painting from different threads, we need to um, paint to off-screen off buffer. And when the surface or window becomes visible, we need to repaint it. Uh, also, uh, it's, it's more complicated if you hide the window, because if you do rendering from different thread, and on the main thread you get event, event that the window is hidden, you need to stop it right now, because if, if you paint to just missing, surfa missing surface, you will get protocol error and crash and finish. So um, this also brings some uh, open GL bugs. Uh, you can get freeze on uh, GL side from different drivers. Mm, th they just don't like it. Yeah, and uh, it's less complicated for software rendering. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, another complication is if you get system system events like window resize, scale change, or like that. So you need to really mm, do it uh, fast, because if you paint to the window, to the surface with different scale that is on screen, you also get protocol error, so, or application crash. <laughs> so so, so if, you, if you really get a uh, uh, scale change from the mind thread, you need to use uh, uh, you need, need to synchronize it with rendering thread, EGL, stop the rendering, change size of the window, the surface, and then return back to the main window. And uh, <laughs> I think the most most interesting thing is uh, uh, pop-ups on Wyland. You have you can have two types of pop-ups. One is based on the subsurfaces. This is just something you place over another surface, and you can place it just anywhere. And uh, But you don't know the screen boundaries. So it could be outside, it could be invisible, anything. Uh, another kind of pop-up is XDJ pop-ups. They are placed by compositor, and they have really strict uh, uh, pop-up chain. So only one parent, one child, it needs to be a descent. And uh, I will show you just here. So if you have, for instance, yeah, we use subsurfaces for for persistent menus like permissions and so. So I will open here the subsurface pop-up and, well, you know, it's outside. And uh, oh, okay. And another thing is, is uh, this is the pop-up placed by compositor. So if I move it here, it should be placed yeah, because the application doesn't know where it's located, so we really need to rely on the compositor. And uh, uh, there is a problem that this pop-up placed by compositor, you it could be ignored by Matter. If it's just some some wrong configuration, uh, it's it's hidden and we don't know it. So, for instance, here you see. Uh, three pop-ups, this, this uh, location pop-up, extension, and tooltip, um, and they are not, they are not adjacent. We cannot use the XDG pop-up, so we just need to uh, connect it, so connect it some, somehow and then show it. Uh, well, this is another example. So this is this is just uh, connected pop-ups, so we can use the chain and use the native native pop-ups. But this one, this one is from the is is not connected, so we need to use the subsurfaces and 
it could be outside of the screen. And uh, uh, another thing is that the XDG pop-ups, they cannot be moved on or resized uh, by GTK3 because it was implemented later. So you, if you want to just move it or resize it, you need to mm, hide it, do the change, and uh, show it again. So like if you have this extension, this is the, you know, the XDG pop-up. I will try to show it here. Yeah, so, so you know, it's placed where is the screen, but if I do, wow. <laughs> huh? It's even broken, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah, so I will place it here. And, yeah, yeah. Huh? Okay, so it's even more broken than I thought. So you see, it's, it's not easy. <laughs> Good. Okay. Well, the point is, it needs to be just hidden, resized, and shown. Yeah. Well, and uh, what next? Uh, we are going to just fix these pop-up issues with the move, with the move resize. I hope so. And uh, we are looking forward to just if move Firefox to GTK4 or backport things to GTK3. Uh, we really need to look at the testing and uh, we need to process the uh, freeze or compositor compositor events processing correctly well yeah and that's all so questions we have questions okay Um, regarding testing, have you looked into libEI maybe for doing some automated testing on GNOME, I think, already implements the server side of that? Uh, well, there is a large test, test site uh, on, Mozilla, on Mozilla, but we need to implement, uh, we, we do have off-screen rendering and we need to uh, just correctly get the results from the off-screen buffer for formatter and compare it. And we need to implement testing of the um, pop-ups and different things of, of Wayland. So there is testing on Mozilla side, but it's on X. We need to move it to Wayland, which is quite difficult. Be because we need to move the test, si test site from uh, Ubuntu, some, some old Ubuntu, move it to new one and implement it. Uh, you mentioned uh, moving to GTK4. So my question is just out of curiosity, uh, is there any significant difference between 3 and 4 in terms yes. of well and so I think 4 is completely different API, but almost the same, <laughs> almost the same functionality. So I don't think it's really worth to port whole Firefox to GTK4 because it's lots of work, but really not not so many benefits from it. Yeah, I see. <laughs> yeah. Um, so feel free to not answer this question if the answer is too long. Uh, but I'm curious what the uh, active proposals are for allowing picture-in-picture -picture windows in Wayland without running into the security issues. Mm, well, I, I, I said uh, there are just two proposals. Mozilla, they want full control of the window, just place any control into it, uh, subtitles and so on. And GNOME folks, actually, or Wayland folks, they want uh, just small, small subset of control, just more security about it. So there are just two proposals and there are no conclusion right now. Uh, hi. Uh, you went in some detail about your struggles uh, with Wayland. I, I think there is another talk 
that is going to uh -huh. go into that as well. Uh, how do I put it? Like we had some collective trauma out of what happened with X, and maybe we moved into uh, extreme direction. Do you think there is some scope in creating like a base, uh, a higher level uh, to sort of build on top of Valen in a cross uh, desktop way? I do think if mm, if we should make some I don't know some some higher level. Uh, I don't think I, I think the best solution is just with some toolkit like GTK or Qt or anything like that because well yes I think we we need to just fix the toolkits. So quick question: When I tried Firefox on Wayland uh, some time ago, a couple of months ago, maybe years ago, I remember that there was. The, uh, it was available the Firefox standard one and another icon Firefox Wayland. So it was basically two applications that I had installed in my system. Is it how it's working today or you have unified things and dynamically able to change what it mm. runs underneath? Yeah, yeah. Well, ju just uh, if you start Firefox, there's just switch on GTK side and you can choose which backend to use. There's, there's just... Uh, configuration for it. So um, I don't have a small question. It's probably a larger one. And it's probably going to be a trick one. Um, <laughs> so uh, while you were describing your struggles with uh, GTK and Wayland and sometimes the mix of both and sometimes things that are completely separate from both, um, I kept thinking to myself, um, so Firefox has is able to render stuff. Uh, it is able to render uh -huh. web pages and the frame around web pages. And Firefox also has its own toolkit. I think it's called XUL. Zul? Uh -huh. Zul? Is that yes. what it's Yes. Um, so um, what is Firefox doing with the GTK in the middle of its own toolkit? It's not, not in the middle. It's the, it's the final destination of the rendering. So Xul is just, Zul is just the upper level. Right. So, so this is really the low level where you put pixels on the screen, Wayland and GTK. Because there is different, different end of the rendering. You have different uh, Windows, different Mac OS, and different Linux. There is toolkit, different. So this is really the end state of the rendering. Mm -hmm. Have you considered using Wayland directly? Yes, yes, but uh, we used that before for clipboard, drag and drop, and so. Mm -hmm. But there are bugs with GTK3 because they don't export everything that we need. And al also, uh, they are confused if we use more violent objects. So it could produce flickering when you uh, change screen and so on. So if you li like uh, s screen description, uh, or or dat data data manager objects, so it's 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 possible, and but <coughs> it brings complications. So so we just need to choose if you go with the toolkit or with the violent, or just mm, make GTK folks to fix to fix it. But uh, it's I, I mean like removing the GTK entirely <coughs> using Wayland for yes yes that's management. that's possible. But you need to implement the missing GTK functionality, uh, like uh, input, input, and so on. So right. it's another, another lot of work you need to do. Yeah. OK. Do we have more questions? OK, thank you. Thank you so much, Martin. Yeah, thank you.